As the pace of technological development picked up, people began to fix their attention on the Moon, Earth's nearest extraterrestrial neighbor and the only natural satellite. But despite its familiarity, much about the Moon remains a mystery. How and when was it formed? Answering this urgent question has driven much of humanity's first steps in human space exploration. In his quest to turn his dream into reality, Luan Njia didn't work alone. By his side, he had a constant companion a scientist and space engineer. Ouyang Tzu Yuan was one of the first scientists in China to get to study meteorites in lunar soil, as well as astrochemistry and geochemistry. When Luan Njia came to him about China's lunar exploration project, Ouyang brought out his plan. The goal set, the space engineers got to work realizing it. In Luan Njia's heart, the best candidate for chief designer was Sun Jiedong. Sun had won the Two Bombs, One Satellite Meritorious Award and Order of the Republic. From Dong Fang Hong Wan to Beidou Wan, Sun Jiedong is a name inextricably linked to many firsts in the history of Chinese space exploration. Sun Jiedong, my lieutenant in my heart, a very proud leader. I'll Wadenifanchu so who said that only the young itch for distant things? The three elderly men hit it off with the same yearning for the moon. Encouraged by the shared goal, they soon agreed on a blueprint. Orbiting, landing, and crucially returning, a new challenge in this history of China's space cause. In 2004, China's lunar exploration project began and was given the name Chang'e. From that moment on, the name Chang'e ceased to signify just an ancient legend and started to become a reality. <laughs> 